In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up your hotkeys if you want to be really fast at trading. So mine are set up for breaking news. So that means I want to be in the stock within second of a news coming out. So everything has to be where it's supposed to be. So in this video, what I'll do is I'll show you my setup so you can replicate it no matter which platform you're using. So all the best tools will be linked in the description. So don't forget to check that out and let's get in the video. The first thing we'll do is go over some simple navigation setting in Dash Trader. So the first one I have, if I click on this level two and it's selected, I go Shift W, it's going to bring me to Dilution Tracker and it's going to show me all the filings about this company. So you can create this for a different website. And if I change the ticket, for example, I go to AMC, then I go Shift W, it's going to bring me to that ticker so we can see AMC and everything is set up. So some other navigation setting I have is going to be G1. It's going to bring me to the amount of shares. And when I'm there, I can just press one, two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and zero for 10. And it's going to change the amount of shares that is set up over here. If I would want to change the price, how I can do that is I just go to G2 on my keyboard and it's going to select the price and I can put the price that I want. And then you can just go back and change the ticker you want and I can go right over here and change the price that I want or I can go right over here and change the share size or go in the speed route for size. So these are very simple setting and very simple navigation setting that you can create and I'll show you how in this platform because it helps me being so much faster than having to go and click every time. So now we are in the hotkey configuration and to set up the first one, what we have to do is just select it or create a new one if you haven't this one already created, which I assume you go over here, add new one. And then what you would do is go into new script building, miscellaneous, and then you're going to go into web and you're going to click add or select it and then you're going to click add and you can name it the way you want. What I have over here is this. I just set a web and it's shift W and I added a website and then it, you can create a search for it. You can do the same thing for like Finviz and we can create it just for an example. So if you're looking to get information from Finviz without having to type every single time, this is where you would do it. So add new pre-built. We're going to go into web configuration and then over here, I'll put Finviz. Hotkey is going to be shift F for Finviz. And then I just need to select this one miscellaneous and then I'll put web. I'll do add and then I'll go into Finviz. And when you're on this page, uh, the best thing to do is just click on it so you can understand how something is created in terms of search. And the way it's going to do it, it you're going to have to collect this or copy it. You're going to do copy and then you're going to go right over here. And then over here, you see that the ticker is right here. So you need to do exactly that. You can see over here. So you get percent, not dollar, you get percent. And then you're going to put symbol and then you're going to put percent again. And then you're going to create commit. And now we're going to test it out. Do shift F over here. And now we have it that it's working, right? So if you put a different ticker, you can do shift F and now it's going to bring you to this one. So it's going to be an easier way to navigate everything. If you go to Amazon shift F and we can see it bring you to this page over here. So I'm actually going to keep this one because it's going to be quite useful, but it's not a page I use on a daily basis, but it's going to be there for the next time I do. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also did link all the best tools for day trading in the description. So don't forget to check that out and let's get back to the video. So going back into hotkey configuration, we're going to be looking at these over here. So the nine to the zero. So the zero is for a thousand shares. And to do this, it's simple. You put the amount of shares that you want in the order script wizard. Then you click share equal the number that you want, or you can just build it. And then you select the hotkey that you want. For me, the one to zero on my keyboard, not the numpad. So I'm really talking about the main keys on top of your keyboard are going to be selected over here for these. So if you look at the seven, so when I put seven, it puts 700 shares. So share equals 700. And then you can select the hotkey and just click commit. And then you can test it out because it's not going to send any order. So these are very simple. And if you want to take a look at it, if we select the share size right over here at the bottom, I can go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero for 10, which is going to be a thousand. So very simple way to select your share size. And a lot of time what I do is I just put the number I kind of want. So example, I want to get a thousand share of a stock. 
I'll put, you know, 500 times two, or I'll put a thousand. If I want 2000, I'll put a thousand and I'll just send two orders for that particular stock. So going back into hotkey configuration, we're going to look at creating a stop order. So what we have over here is a sell stop order. So that means if I'm long into a position and I'm looking to set a stop order to not lose more than X amount, this is how it's set up for me. And this over here is a bit different than most people that show you how to create a stop order. And there's a reason for that. So I have cancel all orders. So this is cancel all order on this symbol. And then I set up my stop order. So that means if I want to change my order price or my stop price, I don't need to go back and cancel some orders or cancel my previous stop. I can just send a new one and it's going to cancel the previous one, which is really helpful. And it allows me to not put two stop because it's something that happened quite often in the past. So I figured that this is the best way to do this. So you create your stop like you would want sell your whole position route is going to be stop day plus market and is the price that's going to be shown in your level two and i have load and send i just added this over here so this you can click just control c for me an example i would have like a regular stop so if i would just you know build this and then i would do enter and then i would just add this over here exactly like that so this is going to allow you to cancel all stop order or just all orders before your stop is being placed. And this is going to be helpful. And also might as well just select the account that we want. That's pretty smart. Go back and just add this over here and just create commit. And now my stop is right over here. So for example, um, I'm not going to send an order because that would be weird. But for me, for a stop, I don't need to have this like big level to with the stop order and all this kind of weird stuff open, I can just go into the basic and whatever price is going to be set over here is going to be a stop for me. So, um, so example, I want to, I would be long. I want to stop at 650. Then I, I can just create, you know, S stop, sell stop, and it's going to send a stop at this price and it's going to change the route and the share size automatically. So you don't need to do this manually. The best thing I would consider for you is to go into your simulated account and test out these hotkey before creating any of these ones. And most of the time, the way I execute it is I'm just going to go over here and select the price and this I'll go, you know, 950 or 9.50 and then I'll create my stop which is going to be a control L. So I'll just do control L and it's going to send my stop right over here. So this is how my stop is set up and it's going to be on control L as I mentioned and it's going to put the whole position all at once. And I have the same thing for the opposite side. So if I'm short a stock and I want to see something um, on the long side, I'll add actually my account there for, you know, it's going to help in the future. And then I'll just put control V and then you have it on the long side. So I have the same thing over here. Everything is set up load and send trigger price is going to be the price entered in your level two and then just create commit and it's going to be there. So another hotkey while we're here that I have, which is good for navigation is switch level two. So this I have it on this one over here. Just type it in switch T W N D. And for me, I set it up to tab. And what I have over here is right now the top one is selected. If I click tab, it's going to go to the bottom one. So I have an extra level two on a different window. So it goes to that one first. And the way it works is it's going to go to the first one, the second one, the third one, go back to the first, the second, the third. So if you have four of them, you're going to scroll through the four and come back to the first. There's no like going to one and the other. So the less level two you have, the more efficient that it is. But this, I have it set up to tab so I can quickly go back to the bottom one or the top one and then execute an order. So going back to the hotkey setting we have over here, I have control num one to control num pad nine. So these are going to be your typical momentum hotkeys, right? Your ask plus one cent my account. The route I use most of the time to get in a stock is just the smart route. It's not good in terms of price execution. You're not necessarily going to get the best prices possible and it's going to be an expensive route. But the reason I use this route and the only reason is because I'm a very news driven trader and momentum trader. When I get in a stock, a stock is moving quickly. And this is going to just make sure that I get in at a reasonable price and it's going to be expensive, but I'd rather be in the stock than not in the stock. So what I have over here is buy ask. 
I don't have a share size or anything like that set in there because I set it up in my level two or with the hotkey that I previously went over. So I've just asked plus one. I don't want to ask plus four or plus five. I want to get in at a reasonable price. And if I don't get really the price that I want, it's going to be because it's trading so thin and it's probably an issue. So day plus load and send and any. So these are how it's set up. And I also have this cancel all symbol before. The reason I have it there also this, it's because sometimes you click once it doesn't get filled for any reason. Instead of having to go cancel the order and go back and send another one, I can just resend the same order multiple times and it's always going to cancel the previous one. So when I have 10 orders in my level two and just get filled all at once and have way too many shares. So this really helps me be So it helps me with, you know, managing like mechanical issues or mechanical mistake of me sending too many shares because of I got double filled on an order or something like that. And I have the same thing, the all cancel symbol or cancel all symbol on every order that you can think of, because this is how I have it set up. So to get in a stock, I have two options. I have the one that I use the smart route. This is the one over here, which I pay the ask plus one or I have my control numpad two, which is going to be on the bid and Arca. Arca gives pretty much the biggest rebate. I think Memex is going to be the other one that's also pretty good. Memex XL. I rather use Arca. I feel like I'm getting filled more often. So I'm going to use on the bid Arca to collect the rebate. So the goal of this is always I pay maximum price to get in because I want to get in fast. But when I get out of the stock or if I add liquidity, I want to get paid the biggest rebate so I can balance both sides. So that means I'll pay 0 0.005 to get in. But then when I get out, I only I technically don't pay commission. I just get the rebate. So then I balance the two and I pay about 0 0.35 or 0 0.0035 per shares. So jumping into the next one I have, these are going to be pretty simple. So I have sell a percent of my position on the ask. And when it's on the ask, I always use Arca. And I also have, you know, sell a certain percentage of my position. So 20% on the bid. And for this one, I use smart because this is a position or an order that I say I want to get out right away. So I want to make sure I maximize priority on the fill and not the price for this one. And these are set up the same way as every other one, right? Cancel all symbol. And here's the, you know, the order that I have. So on this over here, you can see that these are all about the numpad. So my longs are always going to be on that side. And then for, you know, all my shorts are going to be on the F pad. So these are going to be this one, right? But it's always the same thing. When I get in on the bid, I want to make sure it's on the smart route. And the share size is always going to be selected manually over here. So I'll go example 200, 300 or 400, then I'll click F1. Same thing if I want to get on the long side, I just change this manually. If I want to select it and put some word amount like 350 instead of 400, I can do it like that. If I want to change the price to send, you know, a stop order, maybe I want to stop at 30, that's 90. So maybe I want to stop at 30 and then I can just, you know, send my stop order and I don't need to click or use my mouse much. And it helps a lot. So as I mentioned, all the F over here are going to be for my short. And it's the same principle as my long. I have one option is to pay maximum commission, but get filled right away. Or the second option is get maximum rebate. So I pay the least amount of commission. But generally speaking, I always pay the max to get in and the least, you know, to get out or collect the biggest rebate when I get out of a stock. So I add liquidity on the way out. So I had this one that I did go over. This one was to switch your level two. And this one is just my buy stop, which is the exact same as my sell stop. And I have over here X for all orders. So if I go on this one, this is cancel all symbol. So it's the same technically as what I have in front of all of these hotkeys. It's just an X and this one is just set to escape. So when I click this over here, it just cancels all my order for one symbol. Very simple way to do it. And over here, because I have a keyboard with some special hotkeys on the side, I have some maybe word command, but technically they're just on my left over here. So these are what they are. So if I want to focus on the symbol, so this is to go right over here and select your symbol. This is what it's called. It's called focus 
space symbol so if you want to just see it like this so focus symbol and then over here i have focus shares so it may, it's shift a which is technically a special order that i created on my keyboard and then what i have over here is shift price so focus price shift b and these are how everything is set up right over here so these are the only hotkey that i really use I don't need like a million more hotkeys. These are just momentum one, but they're super efficient and they're super fast. So I hope this video helps. And if it does, like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. Peace.